Hi everyone. Meet the Juan Sebastian de Elcano, a true legend of the Spanish Navy. This magnificent four-masted barkentine, with its steel hull and towering sails, is more than just a ship, it's a living symbol of maritime history and tradition. At 371 feet long, it stands as the third largest tall ship in the world. But what truly sets it apart is its incredible journey. Over the years, it has sailed more than 3,700,000 kilometers, enough to circumnavigate the Earth over 90 times. The ship proudly bears the name of Juan Sebastian Elcano, the captain who took command after Ferdinand Magellan and became the first man to complete a circumnavigation of the globe. In honor of this historic achievement, the ship carries Elcano's coat of arms, a legacy granted by Emperor Charles I in 1522. At its center is a globe inscribed with the Latin phrase, Primus circumdidistimi, you were the first to sail around me. The man behind this legendary vessel was Manuel de Echevarria, a visionary naval architect who set out to create a training ship that would not only prepare future officers but also serve as a proud ambassador of Spain on the world's oceans. His goal was ambitious, a vessel that combined traditional sailing skills with modern naval engineering, ensuring that Spanish naval cadets would master both the art of seamanship and the demands of contemporary naval service. The ship's design was inspired by the German training ship Niabe, but with significant enhancements to improve performance, durability, and capacity for long voyages. Juan Sebastián de Elcano was conceived as a four-masted barkentine, a sleek and efficient rig that allowed for both speed and maneuverability under sail. Construction took place at the Echevarria to Ilaranaga shipyard in Cadiz, one of Spain's most prestigious naval shipyards. Laid down in 1925, the vessel was built with a steel hull, reinforcing its structure for the demands of global voyages while preserving the elegance of a classic tall ship. The craftsmanship was exceptional, blending traditional shipbuilding techniques with state-of-the-art materials of the time. After months of meticulous construction and outfitting, the Juan Sebastián de Elcano was launched on March 5, 1927. From that moment, it embarked on its dual mission, to train generations of Spanish naval officers and to represent Spain on the high seas. How does a Spanish training ship work? Let's step aboard the legendary Juan Sebastián de Elcano and find out. This four-masted barkentine isn't just a stunning tall ship, it's a fully operational floating classroom, where future officers of the Spanish Navy learn the art of navigation, seamanship, and leadership through real-life experience at sea. At the heart of the ship's training mission is traditional sailing. Unlike modern naval vessels, which rely on advanced propulsion systems, cadets aboard the Elcano master the wind. They learn to handle square-rigged top sails, adjust to shifting weather conditions, and work together as a crew to maneuver this steel giant using nothing but skill and teamwork. But this ship isn't just about the past, it's also about the future. While its primary propulsion comes from over 2,300 square meters of sails, it is also equipped with a backup diesel engine. Training on board isn't limited to sailing. Cadets study astro-navigation, using sextants to chart their position just like the explorers of old. They also learn modern naval operations, emergency response, and international diplomacy, as the ship frequently serves as a symbol of Spain in foreign ports across the globe. Life aboard Juan Sebastián de Elcano is intense, structured, and demanding. The day begins early, at dawn with the call to rise and prepare for the day's duties. After a quick breakfast in the ship's mess, cadets report to their assigned watch shifts, standing at the helm, monitoring the ship's course, or working the sails to adapt to changing wind conditions. Throughout the day, they attend lessons on navigation, meteorology, and naval strategy, all while maintaining the vessel. Every cadet takes turns in cleaning, repairing rigging, and practicing emergency drills, ensuring they're prepared for any situation at sea. 
Meals are served at set times, but there's little time to relax. Afternoons are often spent on practical training exercises, like learning to tie complex knots, handling mooring lines, or responding to simulated emergencies. As the sun sets, cadets gather for briefings on the next day's schedule, followed by personal study or quiet reflection under the stars. Even at night, the ship never sleeps. A rotating watch system ensures that some cadets are always on duty, keeping the ship on course, trimming the sails, and scanning the horizon for changes in weather or approaching vessels. It's a challenging environment, but one that forges not just sailors, but future leaders of the Spanish Navy. For nearly a century, this vessel has shaped generations of officers, proving that some of the greatest lessons aren't taught in classrooms, they're learned under the open sky, with the wind in your sails and the horizon ahead. In its early years, the ship embarked on its first training voyage in 1928. Before officially embarking, the ship underwent sea trials between April and July, sailing from Cadiz to Malaga with a very special guest on board, King Alfonso XIII of Spain. Then, the real adventure began. Setting sail from Sevilla, the Elcano crossed the Atlantic, stopping at Las Palmas and Tenerife in the Canary Islands before making its way to São Vicente, Cape Verde. From there, it charted a course across the southern Atlantic to Montevideo, Uruguay, and then on to Buenos Aires, Argentina, where it was warmly received as a symbol of Spain's deep ties to South America. But this was only the beginning. The Juan Sebastián de Elcano then ventured into the Indian Ocean, stopping in Cape Town, South Africa, before heading to the distant shores of Australia, visiting Adelaide, Melbourne, and Sydney. From there, it sailed through the Pacific, calling at Suva, Fiji, before making its way to the United States, where it docked in San Francisco, California, a major milestone in its global journey. The ship then navigated the waters of Central America, passing through Balboa and the Panama Canal, before continuing to Havana, Cuba, and New York City, one of the grandest stops of its voyage. There, the Elcano stood proudly as a floating ambassador of Spain, demonstrating the skill of its sailors and the strength of its naval traditions. Finally, after months at sea, the ship completed its maiden voyage, returning home to Cadiz, having proven itself as a true ocean-going training vessel. From that moment on, it was clear, this ship was destined to make history. The Spanish Civil War, 1936 to 1939, temporarily interrupted the ship's routine. While Spain remained neutral during World War II, Juan Sebastián de Elcano continued its mission, avoiding combat zones while maintaining the training of naval cadets. After the war, the ship resumed its long voyages, reinforcing Spain's naval presence worldwide. By the 1950s, Juan Sebastián de Elcano had firmly established itself as a diplomatic vessel, visiting ports in the Americas, Europe, and even distant Pacific Islands. These goodwill missions strengthened Spain's international relations while offering cadets the experience of navigating diverse seas and cultures. During this period, the ship also participated in tall ship regattas, competing against the world's most famous sailing vessels and demonstrating the enduring capabilities of traditional seamanship. While the ship retained its classic design, the late 20th century saw significant modernizations. Navigation systems were upgraded, safety measures improved, and a backup diesel engine was installed to assist in calm conditions. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, the ship undertook multiple global circumnavigations, honoring the legacy of Elcano's original journey. These voyages included high-profile stops in New York, Tokyo, Sydney, and Buenos Aires. As the world entered the 21st century, Juan Sebastián de Elcano remained as vital as ever. It continued its role as a floating academy, while engaging in international events like tall ships races and diplomatic missions. In 2020-2021, to 2021, 
the ship completed a historic circumnavigation to commemorate 500 years since Elcano's original voyage, retracing the route of the first circumnavigation of the globe. The ship Juan Sebastián de Elcano is currently in Singapore. It arrived there on January 14, 2025. Today, Juan Sebastián de Elcano stands as one of the longest-serving active tall ships in the world, having sailed over 2.3 million nautical miles. It continues to sail under the Spanish flag, training cadets in the art of seamanship, leadership, and international diplomacy. The ship is more than just a training vessel, it is a link to Spain's seafaring past, a symbol of its enduring maritime power, and a beacon for the future of the Spanish Navy. And as long as the wind fills its sails, Juan Sebastián de Elcano will keep sailing, inspiring new generations to explore the world's oceans. Thanks for watching.